This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, dun, dun, dun. another one bite the dust. Kim and her uh, husband are breaking up. Now, this girl, what is she on? Love and Hip Hop? No, she's on uh, Real Housewives or something. And you know what? Keeping up with the Joneses, the Joneses won, okay? Because th these two have had, th their house was on the chopping block just a few months ago. And they saved it, which is good, okay? they What they did was, so they bought this home for 250000 to three hundred. dollars put money into it it was worth it skyrocketed to probably being worth like over a million dollars right so what they did was they took out the positive equity. a lot of houses did this in the past couple of years so it's not shocking okay they live in the middle of, of bumble uh, you know it's like way it's like an hour from atlanta so anyways they uh they put they took out the equity you can do that if your house goes up in value you can take out a loan against your the equity in your house they did that probably lived off of that for a while um trying to keep up with the joneses and then they couldn't keep up with the higher uh mortgage that they had so they eventually fixed it got the house before it hit the chopping block well now they have they owe the government money and there's a lien on their asset for that so you know it's like that's <laughs> That caused a break in their marriage. It's over. Um, Kim Zolciak. Zol 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 I, I don't, you know, it's like, please, man. Live within your means. This is just a warning to everybody. Like, it's never worth trying to impress anybody to, to show off. Um, K Cardi B, she's now going. <laughs> she's, I mean, you know, the lengths that Tasha K went. I can understand why Cardi B's going so hard. I mean, you were putting diseases on Cardi B and stuff, you know? So it's like that were pr disproven in court. So now Cardi B wants her YouTube checks and she's got, she just garnished $640. So it's I think she's only allowed to take a portion of the check because that's not the whole check, obviously. Um, so she's able to garnish probably, I don't know, 30% of each check. How she's going to get to $4 million, I have no idea. Um, but somehow she'll get there. Uh, she'll probably have to go after her house, a bunch of other stuff. Cardi B also promised new album coming. That's good. It's been a long time. Jack Harlow for, oh yeah, I didn't even look what his sales were. I just put it up. Jack Harlow's sales are in. Let's see. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, here it is. Jackman. He just got dissed by MGK, too, which is... Ooh. 34K in streaming, 2K pure sales, total of 36,000. Ugh. That's not good. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, that's what people sell now. But why were people selling so much before? There's not as much of a draw around this guy as you think. A lot of artists are, don't have as much of a draw. If you're not doing like between 60 and 100, you're not really popping. Because if you're on a major and not doing between 60 and 100, that's a L. And I like, I like, uh, I like Jack Carlo. The dropping out of nowhere was weird. It's like, dude, there's no build up. I didn't get that. Maybe this is just a filler album. I don't know. Will I am was very careful about, you know, not sharing his face with AI and everything, bro. They got your face, bro. <laughs> I love how he thinks he's dodging it when he's literally a celebrity where there's millions of pictures of him. He's like, I'm avoiding it. You're not. I don't care if he you think Will I am is so smart that he just knows it. They got your face, bro. They got your face. They got all of us. It's over. Little TJ's lawyer claims that he's innocent. He just turned himself in as, you know, so he could fight the, the charge. But uh, this is a charge from when he got shot. You know, there was guns in the car. And, uh, but he has another gun charge too. It, 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 
I don't know, man. He's got a lot going on. He'll probably be able to win it all because he's labels and they always figure out a way i don't know but it'll be a process he doesn't seem too worried little reese keeps talking about takashi and it's just like both of these guys need to like little reese is proved to be you know it's like whatever bro like i don't get the hype anymore he was popping for a few years didn't really amount to anything um what what you think he's a demon come on the guy, the, the guy, the guy talks like he's a, a evil villain on a film now. I, I, I just can't take him seriously. He just, it, these guys are all bark. A lot of these guys are all bark. Okay. Um, I'm not saying I wouldn't. You know, I'm gonna go toe to toe with him. I'm just saying, like, I have to compare him to other people that are in the street doing what he's doing. It's like, why, why talk like that if you're not gonna, you know, just live your life, man. Get what you got to keep up this image that you're the big bad dangerous guy from old block wherever you're from i don't know I, I get all that chicago stuff confused joe budden uh continues to go at gilly the kid gilly the kid says hey stop t- stop handling women like they're men and you know get your uh advertising game up joe budden said stop uh selling yourself short you know th- these guys are just it's funny, man. Everyone felt so blessed to have an extension from being artists and stuff, right? So, you know, they went into media. Uh, the easy way to go after you've been on a major label. I'm not talking so much about Gilly and them. I'm talking more about Joe Bud and Gilly was never really a big artist. Wallow and Gilly are just a good duo. Wallow just, Wallow's very smart gotta hand it to him wallow figures things out wallow is a super smart guy um and gilly is lucky to have wallow and they have a great uh chemistry so that's what always sells them as long as they just keep i i don't i just don't like when they peddle those like little scammy type of things in the middle of their podcast every podcast has that you'll be watching a good podcast with like anybody a camera or something and then the scam artist comes on and they're like wow you could sell a million houses for this just join my course yeah it's like okay bro you guys are taking all kinds of money i think that's what joe budden means see joe budden could really go in on them with that and he doesn't that's the that's what i would hit right there that's where i would hit because you know what uh, there's a lot of meat and potatoes there you know coffeezilla would love to go in on that stuff um yeah but you know at one point these artists are thankful for having an extension and then all of a sudden now it becomes rap we're battling but you can listen to whatever podcast you want i used to listen to joe budden's podcast i I don't particularly like it anymore Uh, i listen to gillian wallow sometimes podcasts are too long that's why I don't have all this. I don't. Who has three hours, four hours to listen to a podcast? Like I just don't. Joe Rogan, even like Joe Rogan. At least I might learn something from certain stuff. So I'll listen to certain ones, and I listen when I'm working out. That's it. Anyways, that's it. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. I appreciate you all, and I'll check you guys in the next one.